Oh, yes. I can smell it. I smell the hate. I smell the thumbs down. I smelled all of them. Hold on, police. And I smell myself. Way of life as cute. Even in hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. While the Muslim world was busy calling Nessa the most horrible of names possible, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, click this card right here and watch my previous video so you're up to date with what I'm about to say. Calling her the most foulest of names possible, trying to cancel her, I was busy trying to give her dawah and offering her a free English translation of the Quran for her to read and educate herself. And of course, thanks to Allah and my beautiful Instagram community tagging sister Nessa, which allowed Nessa to actually see the video and DM me asking for a Quran. She accepted my offer and wants me to send her a Quran. <laughs> He's just clout chasing all the time. But that's not the cool part. What? Yeah, not her 6 million plus TikTok followers, not her nearly 2 million Instagram followers seeing this message, that wasn't the cool part. But what happened after will shock you. Nessa shared the post and put it on her story, which led to this. Several non-Muslims DMing me, asking me to send them a free English translation of the Quran. What's even more strange and surprising is that Muslims even DM me asking me to send them a copy of the Quran as well because they are now interested in reading it. You see, when your role model or someone famous or a celebrity is open to understanding and researching about Islam, naturally people who follow her and other celebrities, they want to follow in their footsteps because they are inspired. And if we start condemning people for their ignorance instead of educating them, we are then promoting Jahiliya. There's a narration from the Messenger of Allah and where him and his companions are in Masjid Nabawi, meaning the Prophet's Mosque, the, one of the most sacred places in Islam. A Bedouin man comes in to the house of Allah, listen to this part, and begins to urinate, pee, piss, in the house of God. The companions immediately got upset and they wanted to cancel him. But what did the messenger Sallallahu do? He stopped the companions and told them to allow him to finish peeing. Oh my God. Instead of rushing to shut him down, the messenger understood that leading with empathy and understanding is the true wisdom that he needed to demonstrate. So after he was finished peeing in the house of God, not just any house of God, but Masjid Nabawi, one of the most sacred places in Islam, the messenger Sallallahu pulled him to the side while the companions are still angry and educated him about the holiness and the sacredness of a masjid and how things like that shouldn't take place. While the companions are interested in condemning, being upset, killing, canceling this Bedouin man, the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi took it as an opportunity to give dawah and educate him because he was ignorant. And upon doing this, he ordered one of the companions to clean the house of Allah so that they could learn a lesson about humility and reflection. If you would like to take part in helping me educate Nessa and everyone else who's been asking for a Quran, you absolutely can. If you would like to donate a Quran towards Nessa or those who are asking for Qurans, you can click the link in my bio and donate right there. My goal is to distribute over 20,000 Qurans from now all the way until Ramadan. And for that, I need your support. There's so many people out there who are actually excited and interested in reading the Quran, but if we do not sponsor these free Qurans to be given to them, they won't be able to actually receive a Quran. These 20K Qurans are going to be distributed in hospitals, prisons, and to the general public, people just like Nessa. One box of over 50 plus Qurans is only $100. Or if you can donate a box, donate one Quran, and one Quran is only $2. So click the link in my description below and donate whatever you guys can because I'll personally be handing out these Qurans to the public. One of the many lessons we learned from this, guys, is you have to give people a chance to change. Give them a chance. Hope for the best. Assume the best in people, but give people the opportunity to change. Don't write people off because when Allah wants to change someone's heart, He could turn it around just like that. What does that for watching, guys? If you're new to the channel, guys, please consider subscribing by hitting this button down here. Make sure that you leave a thumbs up on this video so that the algorithm can promote such a positive mindset to more people. And of course, click right here to watch my latest video that I just dropped. And until next time, I'm out.